It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. And it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Here's the rookie from Stanford, Joshua Carney, to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. carry for James Conner. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now second and nine. Again, it's Conner. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Murray going to throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Stafford is one of those quarterbacks who didn't get the credit he deserved for the majority of his career due to the fact he's playing on teams that often didn't make the playoffs. But that narrative emphatically changed when he changed his surroundings and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He's had a few injuries in the intervening years, but now that he's fully healthy, he plans on getting his team back into the championship conversation. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback. 
that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. To throw is Stafford. Breaks a tackle. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle. 2-2 Atwell. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game, and nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Puka Nakua, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. A 10-play drive that time, and the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes.
And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. He'll find his rookie wideout from Ohio State here. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. And Ryman caught all of our attention at the combine when we watched him working on the blocking sled, and he moved it like it was nothing. He's a mauler at the line of scrimmage, almost an extra offensive tackle. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's a quick throw to McBride. Oh, he sheds himself free. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, so often now we're praising tight ends for their nimbleness and how they catch the ball downfield. But occasionally we get a reminder that tight ends, they've got that tough guy aspect too. How about him catching that short one there, shaking off tacklers and turning that into an expansive gain downfield. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. One of the fastest risers in the draft process last year. Every time you watched him on tape, you liked him more and more. Explosive interior quickness, has a physical presence, and loves to play the game. To throw, it's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat. Yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy that got it to him. Oh, Connor loses it. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. A give running right is counter. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They get six yards back on the run, but still have a third and long situation forthcoming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Tough spot here, third down at 11. Now Murray. 
Screen pass to Connor. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Prater's kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Stafford he's got his target it's the tight end Tyler Higby stiff armed him and they work this well up field across the 45 good work after the catch gonna net him 23 and a first <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down if you're a defender and you don't get the right angle on a big tight end like him he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. And they'll accept that penalty. Still second down. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. Stafford. Try to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Kaiser Wright. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Here is third down and four. Here's Stafford. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Murray now. Got his man. It's Dorch. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but against zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Throwing now is Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit. But how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running.
Right back to Connor here on first. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. To throw is Murray. He finds his man complete. That's Harrison. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 35. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Murray now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? It'll be Murray on the keeper. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Cardinals are able to extend their lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Now Prater to add the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they're going to have terrific field position as they finally get to him, but just shy of the midfield stripe. 
And the Rams getting set to go now. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Slot man moves right. They'll fake it. Now Stafford going up top for Cup. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for him so far. That was a ball they needed to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he led his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. Now a second and ten. Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Well, that's always a good place to throw it, just because he's one of the biggest targets, not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Stafford. Throws left side, Atwell's got it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a yard. Here's Stafford. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. It's Zabin Collins who got in there to get the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, well, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Cardinal offense takes back over. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. They start with a give to Connor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. A short one here caught by McBride, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. There's Murray. Goes right back to McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. That pass completed to Dorch. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Murray going to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. the gun Murray that ball caught by Harrison and he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line just shy of the 20 called that a very strong gain of 24 a great job pulling that one in from a guy as we know who can really blaze he's got a lot of speed and that speed can work for him so many different ways sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably gonna have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Throwing again, Murray. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. To throw, it's Murray. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. And they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Flushed out right. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals would extend their lead here just before halftime. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Prater on to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. B.J. Ojolari able to make the stop. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Cardinals did what they always do, and that's rely on their quarterback, Kyler Murray. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Now Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. They'll fake the give, now Stafford. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Stafford looks to throw again. He'll find a man over the middle. 2-2 Atwell. 
And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he's got his man on the out route. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Stafford. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. Stafford now to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. To throw is Murray. Oh, and that is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Murray. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. They run the option here on first and 10. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 27. They run behind center with Connor. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. A short one here caught by McBride and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Now a handoff coming left, Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals take a three-touchdown lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So the drive there took six plays, and it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Play action, Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Stafford. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Oh, it's a wobbler here. 
Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. That'll go in the books as just a 16-yard punt. And the Cardinals' great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Murray now. Open man here is Benson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Throwing now is Murray. And this will be swung out here for counter. And he's got this down to the 35. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Out of the gun, here's Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. On the handoff, Connor, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. But well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Murray now to throw. Able to get this one to McBride. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Third down and six. Murray going to throw. take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray, a nine-yard touchdown run as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, Pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Prater for the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. That time, a six-play drive, and the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Stafford. He's going to look deep down the field. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Connor going to get it again on second down. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On play action, it's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Harrison. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Well, those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. Yeah, the Stars have certainly done all they've needed to in this one, haven't they? But my question is, will he be able to resist the urge to continue to run things up a bit and get his main guys a few bonus stats before he calls them off the field? 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Connor picks up a new set of downs and in nice fashion, too. He's coming off his best season as a pro after he topped the 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career a season ago. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. 
A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Brought down on the play by Kobe Turner. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Now Murray. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. This is Connor running right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need. So maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Now Prater to add the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And able to get this out to the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, C.D. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Back to throw, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit. And he lost the football. 
And the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Cardinals offense and their veteran running back, James Conner, ready for this next possession. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 110 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. At carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they get five there on third and two. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Here's Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. That ball caught by Harrison. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start and pass plays like we just saw. They're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. They'll run here with Connor, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Again, it'll be Connor. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. James Connor, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cards add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. 
And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Prater on to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The football going back to the Rams now. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. Here's Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all i got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 135 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. 
They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. And this offense on third down today, they've been tough to stop. Eight for 10 so far. This is third and 10. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. And obviously that's well short of the first down. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Prater's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm OK with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here comes the Rams punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. 
I'm just wondering, do they want to add on to this gigantic lead? My guess, given how they like to play and how explosive this offense is, Charles, that they're not content being up by this margin. They probably want more. And if they do go and get more, oh, look out. At that point, let's just aim the camera for the post-game handshake because that one might be a little bit on the tense side the way that this one is turning out. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. This is second and eight. Again, it's Connor. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? On third down, it's Connor. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Taken from just outside the 30. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 35 yards that time on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Stafford keeps himself upright. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now it's Stafford. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. One last throw here for Stanford. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.